Yo, what's going on Epic7? I'm Sue, and if you're anything like me, sometimes you wish you could play a format that wasn't the current format of World Arena. For me, a former competitive card game player and card game content creator, this usually meant that I would just switch to a different format with a completely different metagame in my card game of choice. So for example, in Magic the Gathering, if I didn't like Standard, I could go play something like Modern or maybe even Commander. For those of you that play Yu-Gi-Oh, you might be familiar with alternative formats like GOAT format or Edison format. Sadly, Epic 7 doesn't really have an official alternative format, at least not a very good one. There's only one class restriction, which is pretty broken, and then you have Draft Mode, which is an RNG Fiesta and still adheres to the World Arena metagame, which doesn't really, in my opinion, count as an alternative format. The closest thing I think that we've ever had to a true alternative format in Epic 7 is the Red Lobbies format, which is the subject of today's video. This is my attempt to kind of quickly drum up support for the format and get people playing it in mock lobbies. In case you don't know, Red Lobbies was created by Redos back in the day when he was still streaming Epic 7. He is currently pursuing his endeavors to become a voiceover artist. But like I mentioned at the start, Red was tired of the current World Arena metagame and wanted a format where his old favorites really shine and could be used just like they were in earlier seasons. Red Lobbies is a heavily restricted format with a huge ban list of characters, which is on your screen now, in case you haven't noticed. This format, as I said, aims to capture the old school E7 feel of earlier seasons. We don't really want a format that is filled with hyper fast cleave teams with little counterplay. And conversely, we also don't want games where players win through excessive stall tactics or characters with BS Elbrus Ritual Sword style effects or can kind of really leverage that artifact to completely warp a game. You should feel like you could play older heroes like Luna, Charles, or Tenebria and they feel strong and impactful just like they did in earlier seasons. Not every character is going to be one that adheres to these rules, but you know, this is closer to the norm, right? There might be a couple of Elvis Ritual Sword characters, a couple of aggressive cleave characters, but there shouldn't be too many of them, right? I want this format to be a community-driven format, just kind of like how it was with Red and his streaming community. If there are units that are obviously too good for this format, then we can keep adjusting this ban list until we get it right. And if you think there are characters that are currently banned that shouldn't be banned, then make your case for them and maybe they might come off the ban list in the future. As I'm recording this, it is currently a holiday here in America and it's currently free unequipped, which means that you have the ability to regear your roster to play this format and try it out if you want, and you probably have some extra free time. This is the perfect time, I feel like, as a community for us to actually have fun and test out this format. So tomorrow night on November 30th, I'll be streaming a showdown Saturday here on YouTube as well as over on my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash I am underscore TSU. We'll be doing a Red Lobbies night. Feel free to come through, spectate some games, get a feel for the format, or come participate yourself. Hopefully, we could get a chunk of people to come through, play it, have a lot of fun, and you know, hopefully it can become a regular fixture of the channel here because I know People really love this format in Red's community, and since Red no longer does E7 content, it would be good to have, you know, this format kind of preserved and played because I do think it's really, really fun. Anyways, if you want to see the full list of banned characters and what's actually legal, I'll link it down in this video's description. Hopefully, you can gear up some characters this weekend, start playing some Red Lobbies with your friends, or just come through and hang out on the stream again November 30th, 2024 here on YouTube as well as Twitch. Before I go though, there is one final tier I want to explain and that is the only one per team tier. Admittedly, when I first started playing Red Lobbies, I really hated this tier because this is like another thing that you have to keep track of. It's very confusing for new players. If you pick somebody in this tier, you cannot pick anyone else in this tier. And that's really confusing to keep track of because let's say you already have like, I don't know, DN, but you need a strong blue DPS and you take Kisei. Well, that violates the only one per team rule, which would mean that you would forfeit the match. Yeah, that's obviously not going to be super great, but I found that when you start mixing and matching these characters, it makes for some truly degenerate teams that kind of violate the spirit of the actual format. So if I decided to do away with the only one per team tier, almost all of these characters would assuredly be banned, and that would kind of be a bummer because a lot of these characters just aren't good enough to see play 
pretty much anywhere on ladder. So rather than completely gutting all of these characters, we decided to keep the only one per team rule. If there is a more elegant solution to fix this, I would love to hear it down in the comments below, as well as any of your thoughts on Red Lobbies on how we can improve it and make it better. I think having alternative community-driven formats can only be a good thing for the game. So, again, that's why I'm kind of throwing this out here. This is the perfect time, I feel like, for players to start kind of experimenting and playing some games of Red Lobbies again, especially because as I'm recording this, we have that free unequip. And for those of you, again, who are in the Americas, it's a pretty good chance you have a lot of free time this weekend. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully, you'll come check out Red Lobbies tomorrow night. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later now.